Hello coders, I hope you are coding well. In the previous video, we wrote the code to call Get My Room Bookings API in our Angular application. And in today's video, we will write the code to show these room bookings on the page. And after this, we will implement the pagination as well. So let's get started. So in our Angular application, we need to open viewbookings.component.ts file. And in this component, first of all, we need to create two variables to store the total bookings and bookings data. And for the first variable, we will name this as total and the type of this will be any. And for the second variable, we will name this as bookings. And after this, we will go to the API success block. And in this block, we will call our bookings variable. And after this, we will set the value by using the response. And then we will call reservation DTO list. And after this, we need to set the value of total bookings. So we will write this dot total is equals to and here we will write a response. And after this, we will call total pages and we will multiply this with the five because our page size in the Spring Boot is equals to five. And after this, we need to create a method for the pagination and we will name this method as page index change. And in the params of this method, we will accept the value of type any. And in the body of this method, we need to update the value of our current page variable. And then we will call this get bookings method. And to do this, we will use our current page. And after this, we will set the value. And at the end, we will call our get bookings method. And with this, our TS code is completed. Now let's save this file and let's open viewbookings.component.html file. And in this file, we need to create a table to show the bookings data. And first of all, we will create a div and we will give it a class of center form. And in this div, we will create h1 tag and for the text, we will show my bookings. And after this h1, we will create a table tag. And for this table, for the NZ data, we will bind our bookings variable. And after this, we will hide the default pagination of this table because we will create our own pagination. And after this, in this NZ table, we will create T head tag. And in this T head, we will create a table row. And in this row, we will create table headers. And in the first column, we need to show the room name. And after the room name, we will show room type and check-in date. And after the check-in date, we will show checkout date, price and status. And with this, our T head tag is completed. Now we will create table body tag. And in this table body tag, we will create table row. And after this, to show the data, we will apply ng for loop on this table row. And after the let keyword, we will name the single booking as booking. And after the off keyword, we will call basic table dot data. And after this, in this table row, we need to create table data tags to show the data. And first of all, we need to show room name. And to do this, we will call booking dot room name. And after this, for the room type, we will call booking dot room type. And after this, for the check in date, we will call booking dot check in date. And for the checkout date, we will call booking dot checkout date. And after the checkout date, we will call booking dot price to show the price. And at the end, we need to show the status of the booking. So we will create a TD tag. And in this tag, we will write ng container. And on this ng container, we will apply ng if condition. And in this, we will check booking dot reservation status. And if it is equal to pending, then only we will show this ng container. And in this ng container, we will write ng tag. And for the color, we will give it as processing. And in this NZ tag, we need to show an icon and then text. And for the icon, we will use span tag. And for the type, we will give it as sync. And after this, for the text, we will again use span tag and we will show it as pending. And with this, our NG container for the pending status is completed. And after this, we will create another NG container. And we will show this container only if the reservation status is approved. And in this ng container, we will show the icon as check circle. And after this, for the text, we will write approved. And after this, we will create another ng container and we will show this if the reservation status is rejected. And in this ng container, for the icon type, we will give it as closed circle. And after this, for the text, we will give it as rejected. And with this, our table is completed. 
Now we need to create pagination and after the ng table tag we will create a div and we will give it a class of pagination and in this div we will create ng pagination tag and after this we will use ng page index change event and we will call a method page index change and in the params of this method we will pass the event and after this we need to give ng page index and in this we will bind our variable current page and after this we will give ng total and in this we will bind our total variable and at the end we need to give ng page size and we will give it as 5 and with this our html code is completed now let's save this file and let's open viewbookings.comparent.css file and in this file i will paste the css code and you can copy this now let's save this file and let's run our application And as you can see our application is up on port 4 to double hundred without any errors. Now let's go to the browser and let's validate the functionality of our view bookings page. And on the login page of our application we need to enter the details of customer. And after adding the email and password let's click on this login button. And as you can see we got redirected to the dashboard of the customer. Now let's click on this bookings menu and as you can see we got redirected to the customer slash bookings page and on this page we got a table and in this table we can see the data of the bookings and for the data we got room name, room type, check in date, check out date, price and status and after this we got the pagination on the bottom as well and with this our hotel management system project is completed.